Here we are, we're going down the road. And we're about to take a right, head up north end of the county so we can get to the landfill. Hopefully we'll be there right as they open up. And we'll get this trailer dumped, go put it on location. Then we got another one to pick up, dump it, put it on location, and we'll uh, keep the ball rolling today. You gotta keep the hustle going. So one of the things that I need to start doing is be intentional with my days as far as setting daily goals. And I want you to ask me about that, keep me accountable. Uh, my buddy Evan, haven't heard from him in a couple weeks. He was supposed to be asking me about the bathroom and we have made progress on that, Evan. So, you know, that's one of the things that keeps me on track, keeps me focused throughout the day because of everything that I've got going on. It's real easy to get sidetracked and it would help to have a laser-like focus for the daily activities. So please ask me, you know, have you wrote in your intention journal starting Monday. Here we are at the landfill. Oh, good lord, there's already five trucks in front of us and we ain't even got dumping yet. Man, I should have stopped and got breakfast. It's just cold-blooded. It's hard for the dump trailer nation man to get ahead. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. It's a conspiracy. Somebody got good taste, got an iron bull right ahead of us. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was just making sure that ain't my iron bull. Here we Woo! Are the nice new thousand dollar tires. This one right here is a U Dump brand. This is the latest one I bought. I bought this one brand new. She's been a good, good trailer, man. It's rated for 14,000 pounds total, which means the payload, what goes in the bed, is not supposed to be more than 10,000. But I assure you, this trailer has dumped 13,000 pounds out of it. We put the taller sides on it. It's just got the one-way gate with the barn doors. This one, I really don't need the spreader or the uh, dump gate on it and everything. It works nicely. It's a decent trailer for the money and everything. You can see everybody up here. There's a bunch of trailers got a roll off. You got that iron bull. Everybody trying to get in. Now that would be something else if we saw my dump trailer here you know i've often wondered if some of them roofers have taken it off site and uh used it somewhere else and then brought it back but you know you just never know if they have they took care of it just heard from brandon wilson by email he is having a dump trailer delivered next week or two i think that's awesome man congratulations he's looking forward to getting in the dump trailer nation he asked me about having to do with pricing and i've got the video that talks about how i do pricing but i will update it and put out a different video today to let you know as far as how i do that um it's not an exact science and like this last week you know there's a load that i lost 20 dollars on um that kind of stuff happens there's been many loads that i've been 20 dollars over and so i've made more money you know <clears throat> it's not a perfect science <clears throat> and the only way it would be a perfect science is if you had a scale that you took with you you pulled up on it and then got your customer to pay right then and there um, it's very time consuming it's not really feasible I don't know anybody in this industry that is doing like that so you know it you might be able to reinvent the wheel on that one. That choice is yours. Personally, I think there's enough money to be made. And if you have some long-term relationships with your customers, you can make it happen. Looks like they're starting to open up. Here we go through the gate. Boom, boom, and a zoom, zoom. Got a roll off. Got a big boy. <clears throat> and then you got that iron bull right in front of us. I haven't heard of that one right there, but you got to respect everybody here that's waiting to get in. You know, they got the grind and the hustle. That's for sure. And I was going through my truck. Look, you got some beef jerky. And look what else. Somebody, oh man, I thought there was a bag of pistachios down there. That turns out it was the empty bag. Carla done filled that bag up with trash yesterday we went to look at a job and 
got me all hungry and everything like that. That's cold blooded. That's about what it looks like right here. We're all trying to get through this gate as quick as possible, get our loads dumped, get back on location. Why? Because it's all about the hustle and making money. Boom, there you have it. All right, we're coming up to the scale house right now. All right, we're through the gate, headed down. Get this trailer backed up and dumped. This is where a diesel would be real beneficial right here because going up this hill, really tough for this truck. Right here, it's not so bad. One of the highest elevations in our area, right here at the landfill. We're almost at the top, but then you go down. That's what we're looking at right there. If y'all have never seen a landfill, it is something else. That guy right there in that dump trailer, he actually rents a house from me. There's about six roofers that stay in that house. It's a real good sign him being out here early because that means he's hustling and he'll have the rent. Tell you what, next dump trailer I get, hydraulic tongue jack, and it's going to have the remote control. That will save you time and money because when you're pulling away after dumping, that trailer can be going down and then you're not having to wait on it and do it with the manual control. So anything that we can be more efficient, time is money, gotta make that dollar. Get it back on location. They're already killing it. <clears throat> All right, here we are, we're running down the interstate. We're gonna go pick up another trailer and go back to the dump, dun, dun, dun. But that's not gonna be the last trip we make to the dump today. We probably got one more, I know for sure, and uh, we'll get that uh, wrapped up. This right here will end up probably being about a $600 Saturday, and I certainly don't mind working. If I'm making $600 a day, that's a pretty decent lick, and we had one dump fee that the total cost my fee, dump fee, was $425, and the dump fee was actually $115. However, we did spend extra money on gas with that one, but it's still, you know, it makes up in the sense that sometimes you lose $10 or $15, and then sometimes you make an extra. So it comes out in the long run. Again, it's not an exact science. If you are fearful of losing $0.25 cents or more at some point, then 
the dump trailer hustle is not the business for you. Again, this is not an exact science. This is for people that are willing to take a risk. This is for people that are willing to get paid for what they produce, not for their time. So, if you would like to work unlimited hours with a potential income of unbelievable proportions, the dump trailer hustle might be for you. Well, I can't handle it any longer. I gotta go by, get some food, get a bite to eat. So we're gonna stop and get us some of that good truck stop dirty rice, sausage gravy, and a hot link biscuit. Y'all stay tuned, this is some good stuff right here. It's about the best place to come and get some food right here. You see this place, man, it's off the chain. Eight o'clock Saturday morning. All the construction workers are here eating. Everybody getting a bite to eat, you know how it is. We're gonna pull in right here. You gotta make sure that you uh, check the dates on these things. So that's good. They always got good food here. Look at that. Man, oh man. We're gonna get some of that, some of that, some of that. Get some of that sauce and gravy. Get them big old, big old loggerhead biscuits. All right, we're gonna go ahead and eat. First thing you need to do, because a little bit of this is going to get your fingers dirty, you need to make sure that you got yourself a good handy wipe. And uh, that's also a very big necessity with the uh, dump trailer hustle. You need to have some good handy wipes, because eventually your fingers are going to get dirty. And if you're like me, you can't stand trying to breathe with a stuffed up nose, so you're going to pick some boogers at some time. So you got to make sure that you got some handy wipes. We got these right here. We get them at uh, Home Depot whenever I go shopping for the construction supplies. So we got this. We're gonna set that right there. Ooh, now, look at here. Got a lot. Yes, sir. There's some sausage gravy underneath there. And then we got a big old loggerhead biscuit with a little hot link on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I gotta say, Grace, I'll be back. Y'all look at this, it's my lucky day. I got double spoons, man. Golly, maybe I'm meant to share a meal with somebody. I'll have to uh, find somebody to do that. But, here's the deal. Today's been a good day. We made the customers priorities and that's why if the phone keeps ringing. You can't treat a business like a hobby it needs to be a priority because you expect to get paid. You expect to get paid well. You expect to get paid on time. You want to be a priority. So, you know, I see so many people that they want to answer their phone. They don't return phone calls in a timely manner. Man, I try to make sure that I call everybody back within 24 hours, if not sooner. If you're like me and you got stuff hemmed up on other people performing, if you don't get somebody to commit, you're going down the list and finding somebody. It's absolutely critical. And just because you got a few good customers does not mean that you need to get lazy. Because the next step is you're out of business. I've seen it happen way too many times. People get complacent. They, uh, they stop marketing. They stop uh, good service. They get an attitude that... Uh, Hey, you know, these people need me. And I assure you, there's virtually nothing that any one of you all do that somebody else can't do at the same price or even possibly cheaper. The thing is, though, your customers might not know that because they're getting good service from you. And if they're getting good service, the chance of them going somewhere else is slim. 
about to go pick up another dump trailer. It's going to be number two. Not even nine o'clock yet. You got to keep hustling. That's what it's all about right here. Look at there. There's a dump trailer out there by the road. They've already moved them and swapped them. The reason for that is there's so much weight that uh, they had to do that. Them boys are killing it right there. They'll have that house on tomorrow. They didn't put it as high as my truck, so we gotta raise it up then back. Now, up. what happened is that foot had this underneath it. And when we put the ball on, it went down too far. And so I ended up having to jack it up. So I'm gonna be able to retract this and then pull my jack out. That's why one of those is so critical because not everybody's truck has the same kind of spacing. Slowing down about 300 yards before we got to this intersection that was a red light. The whole reason for that is, is that you always want to have as many options as possible. The faster you're going, the less options you have. The more likely something will happen and you're not going to have the proper distance to be able to execute braking and or avoiding an accident. So make sure you're always given plenty of time to slow down and don't worry about those that are behind you. They can figure something else out. You just remain safe. Well, we might not be getting out of here as soon as we had hoped. There's a couple people right here. Man, that dump trailer right there ain't got nothing in it. He ought to let me go. There's a bunch of dump trailers in line. We're probably going to get a little seagull crap on our head. They're all looking for a bite to eat. All them birds are hustling too. They're hustling a little bit of food. They got them stacked up like cordwood down here. This is dump trailer life right here, baby. This ain't for everybody. That old boy right there is having problems. Problem is, he ain't got four-wheel drive. They're having to push him out. And uh, now he finally got traction. Come on, buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It sucks when that happens, I assure you. I've been there myself. I know exactly what's going on. That guy right there, that's his second trip to the dump this morning also. I recognize the truck. He's a hustler now. Ain't no doubt about it. Got to respect the grind, baby. Well, we got the trailer dumped, and I think we got out of here without any seagull crap on us. Trailer's right there. Coming in. Coming in hot. Second time being in this line. It'll probably happen one more time. Old boy up front there. He was not able to get his dump trailer to dump, and he ain't about to uh, unload it by hand. He's just going on. Second trailer has been dropped. Now we're going to go pick up the third and make dump run number three. And then we'll have an empty trailer in case a customer calls. We'll get to take care of that. Right here is the last one we got to pick up. And we'll take it to the dump. Get it hooked up. We're not going to end up having to uh, jack the trailer up on this one because we extended that down as far as possible. So it's going to retract as much as possible. Unfortunately, I lied to you all. This one's got a lot of weight in it. And so we're going to have to jack it up to get the tongue. The trailer jack We're going to go to the private transfer station, get this one dumped, take it to the house, and probably take the rest of the day off. Try to do as little as possible. Sure not something you get to see every day is a billboard on fire, but uh, it's sure enough going up in flames right now. Ain't no doubt about it. 
it's exciting walking around doing the dump trailer hustle. Ain't no doubt. And then they tap them right there. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Folks, do you understand what you might miss if you're not out and about? I'm telling you what. There ain't nothing dull about being around and doing things. That's what I'm talking about. You're out there making money, pulling, pulling triggers, making things happen. It's never dull.